Hello, it's day 13, and I want to talk about calories. Sorry for the random truck slash ATV noises that you're going to hear in the background. Everybody's going home from work, and I, I have to record outside today. So I tried chronometer for the first time. Surprisingly, I mean, I don't want to jump the gun here, but surprisingly, I, I kind of like it. It's very unobtrusive. It's very simple. I like the way that you can just add food and you don't have to worry about like, okay, what meal did it go to? What group does it belong to? You know, it's, it's, it might work for me. But on the other side of that, I did eat too much today. I ate over maintenance. I ate about 300 to 500 calories over maintenance. And I don't know because I, because I stopped tracking. There's a lot of shame for me when I fail using a calorie counter because it should be so easy, right? It should be so easy, but it's not for me. And naturally I struggle because, you know, I just wake up every day trying to do the best that I can, trying to be as healthy as I can possibly be. And then I fail. So I wake up the next day and I just try to do the best that I can. And that stupid best that I can mentality, that is the thing that has given me this, that has made me so miserable over the course of the years. You know, if I'm going to use a calorie counter, I have to really start using it. I can't just write it off every day when I want to overeat. And that's what it is. Today it was Reese's and pizza. And I also don't think that it's surprising that today, today's Friday, today's old binge day. So maybe not the best day to start chronometer, but you know, you got to start sometimes. So why not start on the hardest possible day for yourself, right? Why not give yourself a hard time and set yourself up to fail, right? I don't really know what to do with myself at this point. Like these videos, it's just like a chronicle of one failure over and over. At this point, I really don't think I'll ever get there. And I know that's just a Friday talking. Fridays are my, my worst days. I just have to wake up tomorrow and do my best again. But it's hard when your best isn't good enough. And on top of that... You know, I know, I know that a lot of my problems are due to emotional eating. My situation is not super stable right now. I'm fogging up, sorry. Yeah, my situation isn't super stable right now. So, I have to get to the point where I just stop eating my feelings. But you know, as far as small victories go, at least today, I stopped. You know, the binge started, and it did start. It started full, full tilt. It started full tilt, but I stopped. I did stop. And tonight, I'm going to drink some sparkling water, take a really nice hot shower, and play some video games. So it goes back to that whole bad day thing, you know? Like... My morning went okay. I was doing okay with tracking. I went to the gym and I had a pretty good time. My afternoon, my afternoon was tough. You know, I felt myself spiraling. But you know, my evening's better. I caught myself. I caught myself and I did stop. And as guilty as I feel now, you know, there's no taking it back. There's no taking it back. There's no taking back all of the wasted time. I just have to keep going forward. Like, it's hard because I'm almost two weeks in and I haven't really noticed much change. If anything, I almost feel like it's worse. I really shouldn't have tried the intuitive eating right off the bat. I really shouldn't have done that. But, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, And tomorrow's another day. I can stick to it. I think I can, at least. Man, what was I thinking? A Friday of all days. My worst. Ah, uh, whatever. But tomorrow's Saturday. You know, 
My niece is coming over. We're going to have a really good time. I'm going to make a nice, healthy, healthy meal. And I'm going to track my calories. I'm going to try to do better. That's all I can do is just try to do better.